Hi, I'm Emma Corrin, and I'm going to be reading from Lady Chatterley's Lover, doing ASMR. Little gusts of sunshine blew, strangely bright, and lit up the celandines at the wood's edge. Under the hazel rods they spangled out, bright and yellow, and the wood was still, stiller, but yet gusty with crossing sun. The first windflowers were out, and all the wood seemed pale with the pallor of endless little anemones, sprinkling the shaking floor. The world has grown pale with thy breath, but it was the breath of Persephone this time. She was out of hell on a cold morning. Cold breaths of wind came, and overhead there was an anger of entangled wind caught among the twigs. It too was caught, and trying to tear itself free. The wind, like Absalom. How cold the anemones looked, bobbing their naked white shoulders over crinoline skirts of green. But they stood it, and few first bleached little primroses too, by the path, and yellow buds unfolding themselves. The roaring and swaying was overhead. Only cold currents came down below. Connie was strangely excited in the wood, and the colour flew in her cheeks and burned blue in her eyes. She walked ploddingly, picking a few primroses and the first violets that smelled sweet and cold, sweet and cold, and she drifted on without knowing where she was till she came to the clearing at the end of the wood, and saw the green-stained stone cottage, looking almost rosy, like the flesh underneath a mushroom. Its stone warmed in a burst of sun, and there was a sparkle of yellow jasmine by the door, the closed door, but no sound, no smoke from the chimney, no dog barking. She went quietly round to the back, where the bank rose up, She had an excuse, to see the daffodils, and there they were, the short-stemmed flowers, rustling and fluttering and shivering, so bright and alive, but with nowhere to hide their faces. As they turned them away from the wind, they shook their bright, sunny little rags in bouts of distress. But perhaps they liked it, really. Perhaps they really liked the tossing. 